Good morning. Welcome to the Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia. My name is Heather and I am a deacon here. It's June 23rd, 2022. I'd like to begin our morning prayer this morning with a prayer from 440 AD. O oh Lord, direct our steps this day into the way of peace and strengthen our hearts to obey our commandments. May the day spring visit us from on high and give light to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, that they may adore you for your mercy, follow you for your truth, desire you for your sweetness. For you are the blessed Lord God of earth, now and forever. Amen. God, we give you sincere thanks for the rest of the past night and for the gift of a new day. With its opportunities to please in you, grant that we may so pass its hours in the perfect freedom of your service, that at evening we may again give thanks, give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Psalm 105. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done. His miracles and the judgments he has uttered, O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen one. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed to Jacob as a statute to Israel, as an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. When they were few in number, a little account, and strangers in it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another, he allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones. Do, not, do my prophets no harm. When he summoned famine against the land and broke every staff of bread, he had sent a man ahead of them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. His feet were hurt with fetters. His neck was put in a collar of iron until what he had said came to pass. The word of the Lord kept testing him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples sent him free. He made him lord of his hosts and ruler of all his possessions to instruct his officials at this pleasure and to teach his elders wisdom. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew. While Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves, and he said to them on the way, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and on the third day, he will be raised. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I'm about to drink? They said to him, We are able. 
He said to them, You will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you, but whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. The word of the Lord. Let us pray. Dear Lord, this daylight upon waking and getting ready for my day, I pray that you give me strength today to be strong for you in this world full of temptations. Lord, you know that there are struggles I will go through today. I pray that you will be with me as I go through them. Carry me when I am too weak. If I stumble into temptation, forgive me, Father. Lead me away from them, Father. I need your strength to overcome these evils. When I triumph against them, I praise you, Father. For without you, I will not be where I am, and I will not have the strength I have. Bless my loved ones with the strength you have given me, Lord. You are my strength and my protection. Keep me and my family safe at all times, Lord, especially those who are in transit during this morning. Amen. Dear Lord, I saw the sun shining so brightly this morning. It made, be, it made me remember my family and how blessed I am that you have given them to me. Thank you for the gift of siblings, Lord. Life would be so dull without them. They are my first best friends. You have truly great plans for everyone, and that includes having the best siblings in the world. I may not say it as often, but I love them dearly. Thank you for my children, my grandchildren, and my great-grandchildren. Watch over them all, as they are my joy. Bless our family today as we go our separate ways. Keep them safe from harm and lead us not into temptation. There is nothing more that I sh shall want but their happiness. Bring us all back home safely to each other. In Jesus' name, I pray. Almighty God, in you there is no darkness at all. Give us your eternal light. When we cannot see the way before us, may we continue to put our trust in you, that under your guidance and protection, we may be kept from falling this day, and finally, by your mercy, enter into our rest, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you fill all things with your presence in your great love. Keep us near you this day. Grant that in our ways and doings, we may remember that you see us and may always have grace to know and perceive what things you would have us do. And give us strength to do the same through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. <laughs>